Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're just going to go ahead and get right into my January 2020 bullet journal spread. So for this one, I wanted to continue the starry theme that I started with just the beginning and I really love how it looks against the black paper. I think I might continue this throughout the whole year <laughs> just because it's stunning, but I wanted to do this cute little space in a jar doodle at the very front. I thought it was really cute just like holding everything and then I did just a 2020 January, just a fun little uh, doodle and then I put stars all around it just to have a nice contrast to the jar. I thought it was a really good contrast between the two. And then we're just going to do the monthly overspread or overview spread, I don't know. <laughs> I just first I made little dots because sometimes the dots on the actual black paper because it is dotted they're a little hard to see when you're doing a ruler so I just made dots so I could see it a little bit better and then you want to be careful with these jelly roll pens because they can smear a little bit so here I'm just taking what is this this is the uh, Tombow Fudonosuke brush and it's a little bit dried out and I just take that and if I make any mistakes I just kind of color over it and it almost removes the white ink and also covers it at the same time which personally I think is a lot easier than white paper covering it up with white stuff I don't know why but it worked a whole lot better and then I just added these white borders and then some stars in the edges in the top corners and this is super easy. All I gotta do is basically do like dots, all different sizes, maybe a couple of um, bigger stars just to break it up. And that's pretty much how I've been doing this. Oh my goodness, my cat is trying to get in here. <laughs> He's very upset with me. So if you hear him, that's what that is. And then I just went over the white parts with black ink, which actually worked out quite nicely. This next spread is my YouTube ideas, just to kind of have something to put all my ideas down. And then I did stars that are coming down from the top. And then on the very bottom, I did more stars just to break up the black, which I love. I think it's very minimalistic and also simple and beautiful at the same time. Next page is my ideas and thoughts. So for anything, not just YouTube, but just anything in general that I want to write down and remember I'm gonna put it right here and then I just did stars all the way around it doing different sizes again and then adding those little extra stars here and there just to add a little bit of depth and detail next page is something that I've been working on for a while now it's called home vibes this is going to come out I'm not sure when we still need to work on everything and make it but I want to make a new channel for my boyfriend and I to work on stuff around our house and doing DIYing and stuff like that. So that is just a blank page for all of my ideas there. And then the last one is just my weekly overview. So I have stars again, because surprise, surprise. <laughs> and then I just did very long vertical ones this time instead of more horizontal. I've been mainly doing horizontal, so I really wanted to try the vertical ideas and just jotting down what I need to do. And then I did big block letters of each, or big block numbers technically, of each day. And that is pretty much it. Super simple. I just love how everything is very cohesive and just goes together very nicely. And they're all a little bit different and they play around with the composition and the just the black paper and the white ink I think is just gonna be so much fun this year but that is it for this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it turn on those post notifications to know when I upload and I'm just gonna go ahead and go and I'll see you guys later goodbye